Hello, uh, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is a uh, uh, personal prophecy for Ser Serafina, I think, uh, is pronounced. Uh, I uh, got a prophecy uh, that your friend uh, Deborah has uh, requested uh, for me to do for you. Uh, she dearly loves you. Um, uh, if you're just tuning in on uh, YouTube and watching uh, this prophecy live, uh, I hope that uh, part of it uh, encourage you and bless you. Uh, you can uh, go down to the description tag to my <clears throat> prophetic website and request your own prophecy if you like. Uh, but uh, if you're just listening to this, uh, please enjoy it and uh Take what parts of it uh, that apply to you and uh, be blessed by it uh, in Jesus' name. Um, so, Serafina, um, I'll just uh, pray and dedicate this to the Lord and uh, do your prophecy. So, dear Father, I pray that uh, you give me a word, uh, a word to bless her, encourage her and lift her spirits up in Jesus' name. Amen. I see an image of... Uh, of little uh, birds uh, in a nest uh, with their uh, uh, mouths open, uh, receiving food, and uh, the mother is uh, getting uh, bits of food and uh, feeding each of them. Those images uh, tell me uh, that uh, you're spiritually hungry, uh, that... Uh, you're a hungry person and uh, you go after uh, the things of the Lord. Um, uh, it says in Matthew 5, uh, Blessed are those who hunger for and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. And uh, scripturally, uh, Jesus assures us uh, that uh, if we hunger and thirst uh, for the things of the kingdom, uh, he will supply them. I I get a sense uh, that uh, you're on a journey, uh, like everyone is on a spiritual journey, but a sense uh, that uh, uh, you're on this uh, journey of uh, discovery. And uh, I a sense that um, it's a journey that uh, you've embarked on yourself. Uh, you're spiritually... Uh, hungry, uh, like I got the image of the uh, baby birds uh, uh, eating uh, what their mother says. Um, I get a sense uh, that you're really kind uh, and compassionate, uh, and uh, and uh, you're um, a real uh, blessing to people, and uh, uh, you do your uh, very best uh, to be uh, Christ-like and display. Uh, the character of Christ. Um, I sense that uh, that uh, the Lord uh, Jesus uh, really uh, delights uh, in uh, your character, and delights in the way that uh, you uh, imitate Him and uh, display His character to he uh, to other people. Um, he tells me uh, you're very uh, c compassionate uh, to people an understanding of people and uh you uh you lack uh you lack uh the the spirit uh the basic uh premise uh the basic uh dispensation of of uh of judgment you you really um you tend to accept uh people uh for who they are and accept uh, them uh, in their particular lifestyles and uh, you tend to just have uh, unconditional uh, love for them and uh, you display that love uh, both uh, in uh, what you say and and your actions uh, toward people. Um, I sense that uh, you've got a tremendous uh, capacity uh, for compassion and uh, I sense that uh, God uh, is going to uh, continue uh, to, through his Holy Spirit, is to continue to uh, feed you, continue to uh, give you uh, information and teach you uh, how to uh, develop and uh, become 
more and more Christ-like. I, I sense that uh, you've got a hunger uh, for uh, intimacy uh, with Jesus and uh, I sense that uh, he's drawing you. I hear the word wooing you like a, like a fiancé uh, would uh, take his uh, girl out uh, for dinner and... Uh, and have wine and uh, dinner and uh, have good conversation and ask her all about herself and uh, pursue her and pursue her heart. I sense that uh, uh, that Jesus uh, is really uh, pursuing your heart and uh, I sense that uh, uh, through uh, different uh, ways and different mediums, uh, he's uh, displaying his heart to you and uh, showing you uh, different uh, dimensions of himself, different uh, sides of his character, dis different uh, understandings of his personality and um, a sense that uh, he wants you to know that uh, that uh, he really loves you and uh, uh, there's so many aspects of, of you uh, that he loves. Uh, he especially loves uh, your kindness and uh, your compassion and your ability to love unconditional, uh, your your ability to accept people for who they are and uh, be gracious with people and loving and kind with people. Um, Jesus wants you to know that uh, he's uh, working uh, through uh, books and videos and, uh, and sermons and conferences and uh, different uh, music and uh, different mediums. Uh, he's working uh, to uh, develop your character and uh, uh, have you uh, become and metamorph met met metamorphosize uh, into someone who is uh, more and more uh, Christ-like. Uh, he sees uh, himself in you. Uh, he often... Uh, looks at you and your life and uh, is very happy and he smiles uh, at the way that uh, you uh, treat people and you love people. Jesus uh, would really uh, love you to uh, learn how to uh, prophesy and learn how to uh, do uh, prophetic evangelism. Um, I've got a book uh, called uh, Prophetic Evangelism, made simple and uh, it's a book that describes how to uh, uh, give uh, personal prophecies uh, to uh, strangers uh, in your street and uh, and uh, people that you meet uh, in public that are strangers and um, Jesus really wants to encourage you to uh, get that book and read that book and uh, pray the prayer at the end uh, to uh, receive the gift of prophecy and even uh, do the assignment and uh, uh, still yourself and uh, get into the anointing, prepare yourself and uh, write a prophecy over me uh, that I, I can receive via email and uh, I can give you uh, personal feedback line by line on each line of the prophecy. Uh, I can uh, give you feedback on it and... Uh, Jesus would like to encourage you to uh, seek him and uh, and uh, get uh, prophetic words uh, for people at your church and uh, practice your gift and, until uh, you're confident uh, to approach strangers and uh, give them uh, prophecies. I, I can see uh, you are really developing a really uh, helpful uh, gift of prophecy, and I can see your bright, shining uh, heart full of encouragement and agape love uh, extending uh, to people and uh, demonstrating uh, the love of Jesus through uh, prophetic words uh, to strangers and building people up and being a real uh, witness to people. A sense that uh, Jesus wants to uh, move on you uh, to uh, do uh, extensive uh, Facebook posts and uh, start to uh, use uh, your abilities to uh, communicate, uh, to uh, write longer uh, Facebook posts and teachings uh, that uh, a portion of your friends will uh, take the effort uh, to read 
uh, a sense that uh, uh, the Lord would really uh, like to uh, move on you uh, to uh, develop like a teaching gift in you and uh, I sense that uh, he wants to encourage you uh, to uh, start to uh, write at length and um, even uh, if you have the courage uh, to uh, start a YouTube channel and start to teach uh, the Word of God, um, I, I just pray now that uh, that uh, the the anointing and the mantle for teaching uh, that's on my life would uh, flow in a a portion uh, into your life, and uh, that uh, you would uh, be inspired uh, by the Holy Spirit uh, to uh, start to teach and uh, share uh, the the kingdom of God with other people in Jesus' name. So um, I sense that uh, uh, that the Lord uh, wants you uh, to uh, start to teach. I sense uh, through the Holy Spirit that uh, he wants you to uh, develop uh, the gift of prophecy and start to uh, prophesy uh, to strangers um, and, uh, and uh, bring them uh, words of encouragement and uh, blessing. Um, I pray that... Um, you would uh, continue uh, to seek uh, the very heart of Jesus and uh, you would uh, develop uh, in your character more and more uh, towards uh, being Christ-like and uh, that uh, you would uh, continue uh, to pursue uh, intimacy with Jesus as he pursues you uh, face to face. I pray that uh, this uh, prophecy has... Uh, been uh, really encouraging to you. I encourage you to uh, look at uh, the description tag and uh, find uh, my uh, Facebook um, address and I encourage you uh, to uh, send me a friend request. I'd love to uh, talk to you and uh, develop a friendship with you. You seem like a really beautiful person. God bless.